All right, we're recording. Like, hey, we are recording. Hey, we're recording. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, 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 oh, look at publicists. <laughs> yeah, she popped out like. Yo, I can I just tell you, I love publicists. You, she's not a publicist, my manager. <laughs> but she used to be a publicist. <laughs> So right. she has publicist she it is. brain, right. which mm-hmm. helps in managerial yeah, roles. Yeah, absolutely. She popped Let me let you know yeah. that I have horrible relationships with, like, publicist <laughs> brain people. But when we invite people here, we respect them. Always. Yeah, we ain't yes. clickbaity. Just yeah, so we don't, know. We, we, don't, don't, we, don't we don't play those games. We we don't, we're not we trying to get the salacious headline. No. I wasn't talking about nobody. <laughs> Actually, and, and if we're recording and you hear something on the side that you don't like, just tell us when tap, we're done. Tap. We're taking it right the, out. The gentleman in the back with the laptop on him. Yeah, him. We'll, yeah, we'll get She'll that. Take a note. We'll get that right out of there. Now, we have a very special guest here. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> we have... Someone that I've been watching from afar. Uh, and someone that I think is immensely talented, which is why we asked her here today. We have the amazing Lady London here. Round of applause. <laughs> Lady London, how are you? I'm good. How are you, Joe? Couldn't be better. I could not be better. Now, I see you're a little on edge here. <laughs> How, what can we do to, to, ease, to ease you? No, I feel good. I'm amongst, I'm amongst good company. I feel no, good. We're, you know, we're, we're all right, man. Don't read what the blogs say about us. <laughs> we're all right. They don't say nothing about us. They say it's, about it's, you. Yeah, oh, it's just, but they say it about me even when you niggas do fuck shit. Like, <laughs> they put it on me. Boy, Joe good. Budden said it. I didn't really say that. Um, do you know why I invited you here? No. I'd imagine my music career. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. Yes. Okay. Great. Yes, your music. Yo, have you had a bad experience? <laughs> Word. What, what no. podcast? Yo, you, yeah. 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 you can tell us. We not them. We not no, them. I don't. I actually don't even usually get on interviews or podcasts ever. Why? But I, I just, I don't like poor journalism. Me neither. Um. So it, it kind of bores me into oblivion with the same question same questions. Line, so. Um, but I'm a fan, you know. I'm a big fan of your music, dating way back. So, Thank you. You know, I appreciate that. I'm honored to be here. Ish, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ish. yeah. Okay. I mean, because Joey got the best breakup music ever. That's a fact. No, but not, not even just breakup. Relationship music. No, but specifically. It's, it's, but specifically. <laughs> now we can. Yeah, let's keep it a bean. I'm keeping it a bean. His band music is a one, top of the heat. His scorn Mount man. Ru- yes, Mount, Mount Rushmore. Rushmore. Him and Eamon. Literally, it's the OLS series alone. Just oh, oh, wild. Jesus, that was the one. Oh, that that, that was dark times. <laughs> that was fucked up, yo. It was darker times than that. There's mood music. That go on Those for life. Are way darker than yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh no, I'm so intimidated by women that know my catalog. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, no, I judge women it, that know your catalog. I'm gonna keep word. it a buck. That's scary word though. Yeah, word. very. But that's spooky. How old are you? 27. 27. Mm-hmm. You from New York? Um, I grew up between both Jersey and New York. Okay. But I'm from. I grew up in East Orange. Jersey. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. You grew up what? Huh? <laughs> you from East Orange? Really? East Orange what? Jersey. Oh, you're 27. Yes, Ish, you were 30 years past <laughs> the school when she was there. I <laughs> don't don't for her. You know her dad, probably, nigga. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> your, mother, your mother from East Orange? Uh, yes, she's married <laughs> for sure. We could talk. We could talk. We looking for my mom and stuff outside. <laughs> Lady London, this is why I invited you oh, here. Okay. I invited you here so I could learn everything there was to learn about you because I'm a fan. I've been, like I said, I've been watching from afar. I meant to play some music, but we'll get into that shortly. Cool. Um, I've been watching you from afar, and I've just been so impressed with your ability. Like, Same, your, likewise. Your talent. Mm-hmm. I've been watching, I've been waiting, quite frankly. Like, because, like, the, the clips is dope. I'm like, where's like a project, an album, yeah. something? Mm-hmm. I'm sure you probably get that a lot. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, but I'm here to delve into it mm-hmm. because. That was a question you asked me before. He was like, yo, what's up? Because I mean, we've we, we been here talking. I'm like, yo, I fuck with Lady London. And yeah, he we popped right up. I fuck with her too. And he popped right up. I fuck with her too. It was when she dropped, you dropped an uh, album with like a collection of the freestyles, right? That yeah. was a couple weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Maybe a month ago, whatever it was. Yeah. But January. this is my problem with fucking with people. Like, I get invested. Mm-hmm. Facts. So then mm-hmm. I need to, I need to like know what's happening. Because as a fan... Being on the wrong end of that just fanfare where we caught up in label shenanigans or trying to catch one or what's my image or the right 
backing and budgeting, all of that shit that's right. none of a fan's business. Right. I get caught up into it. Mm-hmm. So my very first question was, yo, what the fuck is going on with Lady London? Mm-hmm. Is that a popular question? Because you're yeah. rather new. Yeah. Well, it shouldn't be that pressure on you so new, right, to, like, just produce right away. Right. Like, you should have time to hone your shit. Mm-hmm. Do you feel that, that there's a pressure? I think I came out the gate swinging. So I think that people are like, oh, shit, if you can operate at this level, where can I prove in the marketplace what I already know about you? I think that's what most people think is like, where can I like, I know you the shit, but how can I go tell other people you the shit? Right. Like, where is the body of work that can prove that this is that, right? Yeah. Um, but I just wanted to put my 10,000 hours in and, and do what I needed to do. But yeah, it is hard, the pressures of coming in and being so different from w- what's happening right now. Everybody just wants to, Instant, instant, instant. But I think I'm slow cook food, you know? Like, so the microwavable shit has never really been my speed. I think we're com- conditioned it. to that as fans, too. Yeah. When you see someone do some viral cu- kind of things like you're something's doing, coming. and then something's coming right after. Right this. after. So and even if it's Our, our attention thing. spans now, like, you got to think, back in the late 90s, we can listen to a song that was four minutes and 30 seconds. Right. Mm-hmm. Now the song is one minute, 44 seconds. Yeah, it's right. got fucking shit attention spans of a tomato. And they, Two verses. They want to know what's mm-hmm. next, too. Yeah. You could put your heart into some some shit and they'd be like, this was cool. Yeah. For two weeks. Yeah. Okay. She when's the next shit? shit? Yeah, absolutely. It's someone who releases music all the time, I go through that. That's you know true. what I'm saying? It's like, you bust your ass for something that's going to live for a week or two. Exactly. And a part where it's like, you'll put something out. <clears throat> you'll go viral. Mm-hmm. Even if you didn't have a... That wasn't the plan. Right. It'll yeah, go viral, like, and now <laughs> everybody's like, oh, you got to have something next. Like, yo, wait, I didn't even mean... like." But I, imagine going viral over 50 times. Right. I went viral with almost every freestyle I put out. Hell yeah. So, it was... And, and that that's, that leads pressure. to my next question. Do you feel that that virality today mm-hmm. hurts a new artist? Because you've gone viral a bunch. Mm-hmm. And now... We expect things, and why are you still going viral, mm-hmm. or why why are you still doing that? Where's the next? Right. Like, is it to a point where you might try to stop going viral? I don't know. You can't never satisfy everybody. Somebody gonna be mad at any point you turn. So, like, I rather keep doing whatever I, I like doing. So, because you don't yeah. do it for TikTok. No, I don't even know how to work TikTok. I'm ask Me anybody neither. on my team. I'm fucking 85 years old, really, in this no. body. <laughs> like, I, I text on my index finger. I don't know how to work a schedule to save my life. Like, I don't know nothing techie. But <laughs> my publicist and and you know everybody on my team is like, you have to, you know, you have to promote that you're having a show, right? Like, you know, you have to post that on TikTok. You got a show. If you're doing on? something. I have a show tomorrow. <laughs> Where? That's Where? SOBs. SOBs. Oh sh. You see the world. She didn't invite us. That's she okay. didn't invite us. You know what's crazy? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you, my man. Guess, guess what? We all from Jersey. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. So That's this good. Jersey love right here, we, you see that? It's cool. I would want to come. I love cool. SOBs. I, I haven't been in SOBs since I was too young to be in SOBs. <laughs> Why were you in SOBs? <laughs> <laughs> New Music 3 show. <laughs> no, but SOBs like is... Greenhouse days. Is... Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Why you look at me, my nigga? We was in Greenhouse. We was in Greenhouse. I miss Greenhouse a little bit. Exactly. Got to think. I was, I was like 16 at the time when oh, that was like Wait, well, wait, wait. What were you doing there? It's so like 2010. I was 16. I'm not doing math. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not doing any math. Greenhouse was fun. A lot of nice one night stands back in Greenhouse days. It was it was so easy to do that at Greenhouse because Greenhouse well, you You're did for whip. Each other. Wild. We did for whip too. Whip is the basement right underneath Greenhouse. Okay. Uh-huh. When they started yeah, having that. issues, niggas went down there. Uh-huh. It's fine. Back to music. <laughs> do you have? A, are you signed? No. Do you want to be signed? I don't want to be signed just to be signed. If I'm right. signed, I want it to be, make sense and have a reason behind it. And yes, of course, I would love to be signed to the right situation. situation. Yes, sure. absolutely. Looking at the different situations, do you have an idea of who would align with you and maybe who would not? I do. Mm. I have a feeling she's That's not going to say anything. Yeah. <laughs> I, I won't ask. I won't ask because you want to keep the options alive out there. Okay, so are you being... Look at publicists. <laughs> she on it. She on it. Yo, this is a safe space. <laughs> um, all right, so I won't, won't get into labels, but when the right situation comes, yeah. we're open to it. Yeah, absolutely. Does it have to be the most elaborate of deals? No, um, just structured correctly. Um, nothing more. Nothing well, more. that exists. 
It so will. Today? You, listen. Today, the, yeah. The, the demand, that's why you have to have the leverage there. You know what I mean? That's the point of having and building my craft the way that I do it because I really want people to come at me on some shit like, okay, listen, what do you want? How can we make this work? How like, can how help? can we how can we partner on this? Partnership, I like that yeah. word. I she like that word. says it. No, it's an so, important word. Pardon? Mm-mm. And your team at this juncture... See, because my thing for women, it's so hard for y'all to move around. Mm-hmm. Like, between the hair, the makeup, the outfit, the management, the daily. Like, it yeah. takes some shit. Yeah. So to compete with the women that are on... Mm-hmm. As a woman that's trying to get on, right. it's different than niggas, right? Mm-hmm. Niggas just could go spit a verse, get a haircut, put a t-shirt on for y'all. Yeah. So can you tell me about your experience in just trying to not compete, but just to maintain presence mm-hmm. today versus what the climate is doing? Yeah, uh, you're right. It is difficult. Um, I guess just maintaining that sense of self and not being... Um, swayed by popularity so much, just more so guided by principle and by faith. I think authenticity will always shine through first. Mm -hmm. So as long as I'm like still the hottest spitting, like still got lyricism crazy and I look the way that I do and I dress the way that I dress, I still have a presence in the marketplace at all times. So um, I don't find it crazy competition, but I guess um, in the music space, I I find difficulty in that space. Like when you have a machine pushing you, it's very different from when you're doing it on your own. It takes a lot of money to do to what people cost. are doing. Yeah, yeah. And so I wouldn't say as far as like anything aesthetics, I think is fine. But actually having that machine behind the music, the numbers, the everything is, you know, that's difficult. And, yeah. and that's the hard part to compete. Because you be listening to a song, you're like, yo, this shit is trash compared to the shit that I put out. But... It's platinum. Nigga, I ain't have 500,000. So uh, now what? Like, <laughs> you know, like, it's nothing that I can really do about that. But um, in time. Which Are you last, actively recording? I am. Mm-hmm. Like a whole uh, album you got? EP. Okay. Like, like yes. Yeah, so like sure. seven, you know, original records. and you know, Nice. Seven you, to eight. Probably. You sound like you was raised right. <laughs> <laughs> but because that's, that's kind of what we, we talked about before. Like, a lot of the newer artists got so much information, they can maneuver a little bit better than... Yeah. The mistakes that like she's like yo I'm looking for the yeah, best deal like, not even, the first deal back yeah. in the day they a nigga would have threw you a hundred grand in your face you like fam and you sound let me get deal. that and now you don't yeah you come to Kente now for the wow. next nine albums yeah. yeah but wild ass cool I don't want to breeze over her as a woman saying I'm guided by faith and, and principle, principle. Mm-hmm. She said mm-hmm. wow chicks is how much money I got in here again. You, you no, you're not. You got, no. You, you, no, he got four. <laughs> no, Joe. you got four. You got four. In there. I could let one fly. Right <laughs> you got one. You got four. Yeah, we know that's not what bitches is doing out here. Right? But I think, I think and there's that, a pressure. There's a pressure that just don't exist with that. niggas. I could go anywhere and spit. That's not true. I think it's a different pressure. My personal opinion. I think that the subject matter that girls that are popping are giving out today, I think it will be pressure on her because they selling pussy indirectly. The same so, pressure or, is on a or the the dude. Sex. I know what yeah, you get, that's just what that, I mean. The lust but the shit. same pressure is on the dudes to do drill music. So if you a real, real, real dope artist, but you ain't shot nobody, now you got to incorporate that somehow into your lyrics. I offer pushback. Shoot, Kendrick just was on the Super Bowl singing "All Right." Mm-hmm. It was a single, mm-hmm. had money behind it, mm-hmm. very positive message. Men, if you use your brain and get out of just drill shooting, druggy, whatever. We have a lane to do whatever we want. Eminem was right after him doing Lose Yourself about a battle and spilling spaghetti on itself. Like, Eminem, niggas. Eminem is an outlier, and he's white. Kendrick is an outlier? Kendrick talks street shit in his songs, too. Snoop did sexual seduction when he was bored. Snoop started off talking about... Gin and juice and all no, that. No, he started no, off talking no. about killing, killing the niggas. 187 on the undercover cop. 187 on the undercover cop. He pushed gang culture... To the maximum Ish. in the early 90s. You are correct. My point is, we could go through this with all the men. The women, who do they have to look at as the outlier? Like yeah. you said, they all doing the same no, shit. No, what I'm saying is they have a pressure on them. It's just a different pressure that men have. Men got to push the street shit. Outside of the maybe chance and a couple other niggas, you can't name no megastar dudes that didn't push that street street. Um, Message for her coming up, being a lyrical girl woman, pardon me, being a lyrical, a lyricist, she not necessarily selling pussy. That's the same pressure, it's just different. I don't find that it is myself, but I understand what you mean by that though. I think most people think that it's pressure in society because you don't you don't sell sex or whatever. 
I don't sell sex. I have sex appeal, but I don't sell sex. But I have no issue with the women who do. I think whatever. I think whatever. And I didn't. I didn't imply mm-hmm. that you yeah. that you said that I did. But mm. the women who have that every like hip hop is like a highway or rap is a highway, right? You occupy whatever lane that feels comfortable to you, and that's mm-hmm. what they know. Mm-hmm. So you do what you know. I also do what I know. Mm-hmm. Um, but I just think that like. I don't think that hip hop has seen a woman. No, no disrespect to anybody. I don't think anybody has seen a woman who looks like me talk like me. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that's what it is. There's there's been women in the game that I push was... lyrics, mm-hmm. you know, of this time. But it's just maybe the label didn't it. think it was marketable enough. Maybe mm-hmm. they didn't think that mm-hmm. it was gonna and work. That's where I'm, I'm bridging the sacrifice. gap between something conscious but not political, but relatable and palatable enough to be commercialized. But I'm also, oh, okay. I didn't expect that to come from you. Mm-hmm. But now that it did, I, I'm intrigued. Now you gave you me know? a segue. So with everything that you do, right? if you had a thong on, mm-hmm. you would be on the BET Awards. I, I, don't, I don't know that. I disagree with that. I you think if I that. had a I machine, I, I, I'd be on the BET Awards. Yeah. You would already got signed, mach- though. If you had the thong on, the machine would have been But to be clear, I've, I've declined many, many deals. I was going to say, I think the machine many, would, many, would many, see many, that many, and many say, deals okay, we see years. you do this, but we, now we need you to do this. The, the machine will try to change you to fit. To if you had the thong on, make music that the women with the thong different. on make. That, that's true. Well, that's that's what the machine would That might be true. That's why the important part and what you started with was a partnership that aligns with what I'm mm-hmm. trying to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because I guess that's where I was trying to get to some of the pressures that the wrong label might right. have when well, they yeah. look at you. Push. Mm-hmm. When yeah. you look this way, but the first thing out your mouth is mood music. <laughs> like it's a <laughs> Yeah, they like we don't yeah. want to hear that from you. Yeah, they they You they, need to do this. They get to you have to look this way, sound this way, and they did that with me too. So or they'll do the, or, or, they'll, or they'll do the classic, okay, you could do that, but we need a single that sounds like this. Yeah. I and think the culture you... shift is, is happening amongst us, though. Like, we are the culture, so we have the power to shift the culture. And I think people are getting tired of kind of the same old things. Not mm-hmm. that it's Cliche. not yeah. that it's not mm-hmm. a place for it, right? Mm-hmm. There's always going to be a place for it. But I think people want to see something new, something refreshing. And every time I've been, and granted, I can't speak for what happens once you are with the label, right? Because I hadn't gone that far as far as signing actual paperwork. But no. every label who has approached me has never tried to change my style. Mm. And they've always loved the way that I've, appro- I've approached things and they just want to be a, a part of what I'm doing mm. um, in that. So just making the right, making them the right, um, you know, I guess partner in it so that we can further my thing is always the goal. I don't know if I would, I personally don't believe it. I think, I think people are ready for a change and I think I could be that. I think you know what though? New- oh. Combination of sound and look, it's it's interesting and people will gravitate to it. Yeah, look, That's anything a lot of, new is refreshing. Yeah, a lot of them labels tell you what they tell want you that you sign front, on the paper. and then once you sign, That's it's yo, it's gotta, this now. Although, yeah, I know yeah. we agreed to that, but now it's this. Although because, that, I think that does change a little bit in the modern era, where labels are trying to be more partnership e they're trying to latch on to something that's already moving but they still bottom line based yep yeah, they no still doubt. bottom line based and so when you bottom line based and we have um um numbers and analytics that say this works we need you to be that until you get established that's when you can change into who you re- again christina aguilera said the same shit like yo i hated doing what a girl wants that wasn't who I the fuck i was saying, but until i got I think established the current state and of then the music i could do business, my own thing the current state of the music business for someone like her who already has the virality and has people paying attention to what she does mm-hmm. i think a label would be more it gives her leverage it gives her it leverage. you some leverage. Well, it gives her leverage honestly you got to play the game sometimes at the Indeed. end of the day you have you have to play Indeed. at some point there's a give and take you have to play the game well, but it. the point but the point is to not compromise your own morals and and, 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 and principles Thanks. i never do anything that i don't stand behind mm-hmm. even mm-hmm. if it's out of my comfort zone per se it's not something that i can't stand on that I did that I'm not proud of doing no, no. so you know even if you get a commercial record I have commercial records that I'm sitting on right now that's gonna come out you know what I'm saying but your but, grandmother not gonna but, feel disappointed I don't, when she it's not it. something that I feel Honestly. like uh, can y'all turn this off or like mm. oh my god I can't believe I said that on a record no it's a different up tempo it's a more of a you know what I mean and I'm proud of them records I love them records the same way I love the slow heartbreak shit mm. like I'm not one dimensional you know what I mean I can't you can't box me and you can't guard me that's just what no it doubt. is <laughs> I just want to play a little bit of this because yeah, this, this beat this, this beat should have scared you away. <laughs> this is actually one of my favorite. This is my favorite one on the. On the this is a lot of people's favorite on this one. No, you went crazy. <laughs> this was, this was one of them. That. I heard this and was like, no, nah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I just play a little no. bit. 
Bitches turn that better than running but clean free. <laughs> See, I, I subtly talk about it. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just yeah, a good yeah, tone. Yeah, yeah, that's a fact. Hey, sometimes you got to sneak it in. So they I don't see what you. she did. Yeah. Sometimes you got to yeah, sneak it in. Nah, just sneak that shit in there. Hold up. <laughs> why? Don't, why? Don't, don't do that. Do? <laughs> yeah, because you must have not seen me, nigga. Nah, don't do that. I don't block niggas. I, I wait till they stay. I ain't got to stay and see what's going on. They all block me. They every last one of them block me. <laughs> <laughs> and I just learned how to mute people. Oh, oh that's a great feature. Really? That's a great feature. Oh, that's a great feature. Amazing. Trash. 10 out of 10. I wasn't mutant people because I had to click the story to mute it, no, and then they would down. see my. Mm -mm. You don't have to. No, you don't have to do none of that. Down the story. Shut the fuck up, yo. Swear to God. You just no, press and hold until it go past? Shut the fuck no, up. No, just press and no, hold on the button. Let's go to the story. Y'all talking about this. Bro, you always have to die. Two dollars. Two dollars. Two dollars. Hold up, what? Oh, I was you doing it press wrong. and hold on the story hold and it'll let you story. mute. I didn't. And you you, you just go the long way through Oh, no, I go to the thing and they say mute Clint. stories they or don't even exist. post they don't or both. But they don't even know it's beef. They just yeah, don't exactly. See them. Yeah. You just don't see their shit. Mm -hmm. It just changed my life. Yeah, I've been doing that. get that. Yeah, Maybe I've been waiting my whole life to, to hear Joe Button say I changed his life. You hear this? No, you changed my life. Hit the bells. Hit the bells. What bells? What the bells? I ran a or something. Gunshot something. I ain't all that. All this shit, goddamn it! Uh, uh, no, you just changed my life with no, that. No, that mute shit is the best. Yeah. So now you say you have songs that you are sitting on. Yeah. It's where it gets tricky. Mm -hmm. This is the tricky part. Because mm -hmm. you like the songs you're sitting on. Love them. Your team likes the songs you're sitting on. Mm -hmm. But you don't have a real gauge as to what they What's want work? from you right. song wise. Right. So how do you experiment to the EP? There we go. The EP. <laughs> there we go. We touch on everything. It's all different versatile things, and I'm going to see where people gravitate, you know, gravitate. gravitate towards mm -hmm. So we're getting songs. Songs, but keep in mind, it's everything that I stand behind. I love mm -hmm. all of the songs. That way, whatever they pick is a comfort zone. Of course. No, it's you. So, yeah. So yeah, it's like you could be a hood yeah. engineer. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm that's saying? Really, you could be a really drug really dealer nigga that... Like physics, mm -hmm. that's they really all me. genuine to who you are. You're not really fronting. That's yeah. really see how I said it. Life. Oh yeah, no, like Meg when she went back to school. Everybody skip it. That's a joke thing. I know. We'll I, I, I did. Yeah. <laughs> I slipped yeah. that yeah. jab. Yeah. 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 No, I got you. I got you. <laughs> I'm always on my own shit. Okay, so we have songs coming. Uh, EP's coming. Uh, can we announce ballpark area date or no? Not yet. See, as an unsigned artist, you can really drop an EP whenever the fuck you feel like it. Right. Band camp that shit every six months. Honestly, I keep starting it over. I've done this EP like twenty times. <laughs> you're a perfectionist. Oh, you one of those. You want to know? I am. I know perfectionism right? moving target, but I still be shooting at the shit. Oh, she a bitch. Oh, she driving y'all crazy, yo. I can look, 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 look. Yeah, I go. Oh, oh, yes. man. Perfectionism moving uh, target. I be shooting baby. at this shit. Still have to aim for this guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh well, yes. can you tell us about how some of the music? I'm excited now because mm -hmm. I was on some shit like, "Yo, she going crazy," but I'm not gonna commit to I hear a song. <laughs> See, that's how I, I, I got to hear a song. Me too? I she, told you, she can't reel me yeah. in with just lyrical We're ability. Rapping. I need to We're hear rapping. a song. I'm yeah. watching Flo Millie try to navigate the same space, like being the lyrical girl. That's not about that, yeah. but I got songs, and you're gonna love me for what I stand for. Okay. So, can a, can a nigga bop to the to the joints? <laughs> like, can yeah. I? Yeah. So my next single that's coming out. Or are you just bashing niggas? Yeah, I'm always doing that. Okay. <laughs> Round of applause. Her man bashing shit. Like, yo, that's what I said. I was introduced to you through features. You did. Yeah. Nah, she killed niggas. And I'm like, yo, she tearing niggas, niggas the fuck yeah, up. Yo. <laughs> like, stop rapping with her. Please. Yeah. Like, like my shorty was playing the verses, and I'm like, are you trying to sub me or something? Oh, <laughs> see, I don't play that shit. Yeah, no, that was, no, that's what was happening. Don't use no song lyrics to get at me. <laughs> yeah, it, it was a lot of that. Lemonade. Yeah. I love it. I love that shit. I, I built everything. My my virality came from the disrespect that I gave to niggas because it's all relatable. You don't fuck with niggas? You don't I like us? I love, I love men. I love black men specifically, but something wrong up here. Something what? really wrong with y'all niggas. So we got to talk about it. Let the revelation be televised about it. Damn. <laughs> mm. I'm going to always give the girls captions. That's what we really want anyway. When I think when I sit down and write a rap, I'll be like, what's a caption? What's brief? What can go with every line? What's what do when you take a picture, what you want to post under this? Like, what would you want to say? That's how I come up with it. 
I love women, yo. I'm going to put my boxing gloves <laughs> women, in women are, no, I'm ready. women are the greatest creatures on earth. Oh, man. I, man I Unfortunately. Talking, I was talking to a young lady. Uh-huh. She posted a little picture. Caption. The caption said... <laughs> Do the voice. The caption, yeah, you gotta do the voice. Do the voice. The caption says something like, "Come get your nigga. He always laying in my bed." <laughs> right. That and wasn't I, a good one. And I was, <laughs> a caption like that could get a nigga in a lot of heat. You know? <laughs> but I asked. I said, "Hey, where'd you get that caption from? Or were you just shooting at some bitches?" And now that's a lyric. That's a Ruby Rose lyric. <laughs> and I said. Well, who the fuck knows that? <laughs> nobody. Oh man. Yeah. No, no, no fan. She just wanted to put the the word the line that came before it so that it connected. Listen, you know, women hate each other, but mm-hmm. whatever. No. Are there upbeats? Are there up tempos? Yes. The next are there stories? Like, it's everything. There's storylines. There's upbeat, like stand on the couch in the club, you know, with a bottle in your hand. For real? Like, yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, I could be a bird. No, you could be a whole bird. Oh, yeah. Play, 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 oh, play it. Come on, play sure. it. Play it. Oh, my bad. I got love you. Uh, bird. Oh, why do you love birds? Because they're the best. Oh, <laughs> I always want to be a bird. Oh, now we lit then. Oh, we lit. Oh, Are we coming up. to compete? It's up. Oh, you got I'm not, I'm not oh, letting up wait this a year. Second. You give me gas, so we need All this EP. right, wait a minute. Now I'm di- I'm delving a little deeper here. Now I'm yeah. trying to get a better understanding of what's going on. Now here's a good question, though. Mm-hmm. Did you start shooting videos? Because that, that kind of determines when the project might actually be on the way. I shoot a video in two weeks. The first oh, one? Yeah. There's a plan for a video. You got a show at SOBs. You're right. Mm-hmm. That's going to be. She looked like fucking Marilyn, uh, from Marilyn Monroe or some shit. Like yeah. a million bucks. Thank you. Our Thank whole you. team is here. They was here early. Mm-hmm. It's a nigga here shooting some shit. Mm-hmm. Two. No, two of them. Two. Oh, shit. It's a whole nigga. <laughs> he went and got another one. <laughs> this nigga got another nigga to shoot. You have something in the talk. I yeah. yeah. Shoulder pads. Always a, a the shoulder pads day. telling it. No, the hat told me when she walked in. Always oh, yeah, avant oh, She yeah, has yeah. something that her and her team feel confident in. Yes, yeah, it's, it's go time. And we are seeing early phases of y'all about to know. No, for see, me. I had no idea that when I hit you. Mm-hmm. I just I didn't know about the show. I was just like, yo, we have to learn about Lady London. We have to get her here. Yo, can you come? Mm-hmm. But you got shit in the works. Yeah, shit, shit, it's coming. I'm not letting up. No time soon. Is there? I know you said you did your ten thousand hours, mm-hmm. which is excellent. That mm-hmm. ten turns into a hundred thousand. No, really, in real life. Yeah. way over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What is it in your eyes? You seem to have a good head on your shoulders. That you need to fine tune before the masses recognize you, if um, anything. No, it's it's always room. People, anybody who say that they know all of this shit is fucking lying mm-hmm. completely. That you're gonna you're gonna learn every day. You're gonna evolve the time. Um. I just want to learn different pockets too. Like I, I would just like I know how to mm. switch my flow and my cadences and everything like that. Mm. I know how to think, touch on different subject matter, but there's always more to just expand on. Sure. And to be honest with you, I want to figure out a, a time that I can transition into even different genres of music. I have a Jamaican background, mm. um, you know, hey. like oh, I'm dancing to that song. Like that. But yeah, even like just in the <laughs> reggae scene Shut and the pop here. scene, not yet. Like yeah. it, not it's just a little too premature because I'm just getting into things. But mm. like eventually, I want to get into that space where like I've I've already you know, been songwriting and doing mm-hmm. all of that. So just finding different spaces where I can like operate in like a Disney capacity or, a, okay. you know, like just finding, I just don't want to be one dimensional. Like, I think success. No I think when you start growing, especially for writers, like real, real writers, yeah. Yeah. the more shit you see, like if you've never been to the Swiss Alps, you can't incorporate that. No doubt. You get what I'm saying? But yeah. when you go there, you fucking overlooking the Mediterranean and you like, Mm-hmm. You exactly. know what I'm saying? I think just with that success and and the growth as a person, baby mm-hmm. steps, you can translate it and put it on paper. Yeah. Right. I right. think I think that's what happens, and we've seen that with mad artists. Yeah, just developing more skill set as far as um, expanding writing. And sound. See, even when you ask her about what she needs to work on, it's a rap answer. Right. Mm-hmm. That is so intriguing to me. <laughs> you don't get women that do this. I feel like you have said that you write outside of rap, though, too, right? Mm-hmm. You write like what poetry or um, yeah, I started in poetry. Um, okay. I have a book right. out I, I released in two thousand seventeen. Yeah, so awesome. I've 
Hello? I no. Oh. It's nothing to tell. <laughs> I'm pretty boring. I went to college. I'm pretty boring for the most five. part. It's high five. Oh, sorry. No. Nope. It's fine. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, but yeah, no, so it's a fiction. Um, so that and then songwriting for just, you know, movies and soundtracks and TV mm. shows and different characters on TV shows too. So, yeah. I'll be mad if you start dropping music and then you just stop when Sprite approaches you to do work commercial. No, so the thing about well, it is the brand thing is lit. I'm tired of yo, the, yo, the whole Fast and the Furious call you fuck that rap. Yo, I'm gonna fuck somebody up, yo. Hey, yo, when Fast <laughs> and the Furious call, rap, <laughs> I'm gonna holler at you niggas. Give you niggas one but, album every four years. But branding has to be, it has to be on the of course. top today? tier. Absolutely. Top what? tier. Today? I'm not asking y'all. <laughs> the the, the young think, lady seems to be Smart as shit. So the, she bought her business. We going with a bread up. Can you tell me how you are approaching <laughs> branding being a new ancillary arm <laughs> that you have to worry about as a rapper? I think when I came in, that wasn't so much the case. Right. Today, though, rap is almost secondary if we can get the McNuggets. Yeah, it's a step. It's just a stepping stone now. So, so of course, lot, you want to include that, but how do you maintain your? What were you saying earlier? Your artistic integrity while you do that. Again, just making sure it's brand aligning. Like, whatever brand you associate yourself with has to go with the rest of your narrative, right? So it can't be nothing that's crazy off. Casamigos. Love fucking Casamigos. <laughs> Anejo perci- um, specifically. Like, I love this shit. Tequila's great. Whatever. But. La- 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 Lady Casamigos. London is invited to the kickback. She can come. Period. Here we go. She can come. Um, yeah, no. Make sure, making sure that you have, like, Brands that align with yourself is important, and and um and nobody like the average millionaire has what seven streams of income. Mm. You oh, can't man. be Jay is not a billionaire because of rap. This man got twenty things that he got his hands in. He's a part owner, a title. He got this, that, and third ace of spades, and you hear and and that's how you develop your your verbiage too. The way that mm-hmm. I'm trying to talk on these records, I can't speak yet because I'm not even in that space. But I will right. get there you because be I know there. my mind and the way that it's trained and how you know like this man. Half of, half a billion worth half a B. He talking about half his wife, half him. This double on time. Yeah, he talking like, crazy. He's crazy. 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 He going crazy. He crazy. Yeah, you can't talk. talk you can't like that talk. It's a certain type of cloth, you know. Yeah. Mm. That's associated mm. with it, and I. It's a fabric they don't make anymore that I'm trying to really, you know, bring back. You're impressive, man. Thanks. You are. <laughs> so now, what am I saying? What am I saying? What am I saying? Your musical inspirations. I have yeah. to know. Uh-huh. Generic question, yeah. but I still need to know who they are. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jay was probably my biggest inspiration of all time, just in general. Um, Jay Z, Slick Rick, um, Styles P. You're actually one of one of my, you know, top. I personally think you're one of the top five lyricists of all time. That's my Thank opinion, you. though. It's a lot of breakup um, bars. <laughs> no, it is, but it's also a lot of other content. I whatever. Anyway, that um, substance. I can hear the yeah. substance in you, yo. Yeah. yeah um, light. Um. MC Light, who else? Jean Grey, um, Drake, you know, just, just people, who, I don't know, who who have not just one dimension to them. Like, you never know what you're going to listen to when you turn on some of these people's records, mm-hmm. you know, but it's longevity in it. The, the, the storytellers are the last thing people in the game. Like, people that actually can develop these storylines is mm-hmm. right, so, who yeah. stay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We were talking off air about the Ari Lennox interview mm-hmm. and with the gentleman that disrespected her and said whatever he said and your reaction was different than some of our reactions Mm -hmm. in here but you're a woman so can Mm -hmm. you tell us how you felt about that one and two how that moment may have changed how women are going about some of these interviews that they they have to do i don't have much to say on that but i will say that i think he was out of line in a sense um I don't think that because women discuss their sex lives via their expressive art form, mm. because art, like rap and, and music in general cannot be confined or distinctively yeah. defined. So mm. whatever I say in my music is because it's subjective. It's, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. Just because she spoke about her sexual encounters in her music that didn't give him the right to ask him ask her who's, who was her last sexual partner. Do you, do you work at Planned Parenthood, sir? Like, why are you asking me... <laughs> That's it's inappropriate and it was unnecessary and she had the right to react to it. Um, I think that women are often just brutalized for the way that we react. We're automatically the like angry. Oh, she's so angry and she's always spazzing out. Mm. In reality, mind your business, bro. You're weird. That's weird. Yeah. And that's just that. And be respectful around women. 
respectful. Would you ask your sister that? Would you ask your sister when her last uh, Let, well, period was? It was just. It's just. It was a very. Oh. You would ask your sister that? Yeah, who you fucking and when did you fuck him? And that's where did y'all fuck? Crazy. Let me ask and who me, is this nigga? That's crazy. As a brother, especially an older brother, you would want to do that. I did that with my cousins. Yo, who's your boyfriend? Well, like, you just as a, you who's your boyfriend is who's your boyfriend is fair? When's the last time you had sex? That's a lot. Ew. Don't say that to me. <laughs> that's kinda crazy. That's a lot. That's crazy. And when that's you when lot. I repeat it to you, you're kinda like, okay, now nah, that's kinda cringy, yeah. right? And that's yeah, disgusting. Weird. And he's behind a computer screen halfway across the pond. The pond? He's he that's a Jamaican no, shit coming out. He was based somewhere. I'm joking. He was in wasn't South he, Africa. Yeah, he was somewhere in rural farmland. No, you are something. absolutely you are absolutely correct. Yeah. Also, off mic, you were talking about the enforcement of double standards and yeah, how you're with it. Yeah, I think they're in place for a reason. Like a lot of things in the world, double standards are in place for a reason. You're talking about the ones that swing in you guys' favor, huh? Of course, <laughs> always. No, but in general, so I we're think not they are fighting like, for equality. <laughs> <laughs> no, equality is also a moving target. Yeah, probably not. I'm about to just start rapid firing questions. Y'all got something? I'm about to get going. I was letting you go. Uh, <laughs> I was like, get your shit off. Because I'm about to just rapid fire shit. <laughs> I, had a, I, I had a question back What's to that? the Ari Lennox um, yeah. interview. Oh. So, I'm trying to... Th- All right, so if, if, if he's interviewing a male artist who raps about shooting niggas. Yeah. And he don't know this artist. Yeah. So, you know, prior to meeting him, I, I, I listen to your music, and this is the topic I hear you discuss. Yeah. And he says, so, yo, you really be out here shooting niggas? Like, or jokingly says, yo, what's the last nigga you shot? Right. Like, I, that's how I took that, because he don't know her. Obviously, this is a first-time interview, first Retweet. week. Right. This is, this is what I hear you're saying in your music. Mm-hmm. So, if I don't know any better, which I, I, he didn't know any better, I could tell. I'm going to think you're open to talking about this because you talked about it. it was, am, I, am I bugging? That, that sounds No, nah, it was crazy. a question to you, but... I, no, I was, that's, that's, seri- that's a serious question? That sounds crazy to you? Yeah, that sounds crazy. If uh, Think about it. If somebody asks you who's the last nigga you shot, you'd be like, is you the fast nigga? No, but if I'm talking about I shoot niggas all the time and I shot, I just shot a nigga last week or something like that, did they say, yo, you really just shot a nigga last week? No, I who's told the last you that. nigga you shot? He asked her, who's the last nigga you fucked? Yes. When, no, when's the last time you, you fucked? Or are you currently having sex right now or something like he... he it, was a, it, was a time, it was a time... Well, I know it was a sexual-based question. It was sexually based in, in a specific in a, time a frame specific that she was time. told to ask. So, okay, how many niggas part. you shot or where did you nah, shoot that I, nigga I, last? It's why you need women, yo, because... Verbiage is I didn't, important. I, yeah, yeah, no, that is important. Semantics is important. What I you didn't hear the question important. for sure. Like that's why. No, I so niggas is weird. I, at first, I was on that that, that, that side. I'm gonna get a t-shirt with it on it. No, <laughs> you gonna buy it? Yeah, yeah. trademark it. Okay. At first, I was on that Same. side. Then they until, really gonna think I'm bisexual until they said. Oh, <laughs> <start, laughs> I thought that was a funny time too. <laughs> we did. We yeah, we did not. Yo. My phone was my phone was on fire, dog. Yo, you up there with that nigga on that couch? But wait, nigga, I walked in the barbershop and it was yo yo yo. We was waiting for you. What's up with your man? Yo, fam, Nork was on fire. What's up with your man? I'm fuck one of them niggas. What are you talking about? Fam. And then I want y'all niggas. <laughs> Nigga. Thankfully. Why? Thank God. Like, I'm, 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 so, anyway. I'm so happy. <laughs> Word. Thank you. But why did you think it was funny? You didn't believe it. You didn't not, believe a, it did you? not even for a second. Okay. Because you know, okay. like I said, I'm I'm one of the people that was an advocate for your music way back. So people think that it's funny to call me about things that concern you. I hate right? the niggas. No, they call me and be like, you see your man's. See your man sucking dick. See your man. Like, what they, so what they saying, yeah, like, what's your thoughts? So they always call me, what's your thoughts on this? I'm like, oh, I think he's just, I think he was trying to make a point. Like if, if that's how you get to the hierarchy, like if that's how you talk to who she needs to be spoken to. She listened to it in context though. Then no, that she was it. She, she heard it in context. She heard it in context. She didn't let the clickbait grab her. But again, people going to be people. Fam, well, before I was on the pod, Niggas was calling me about this nigga every week. Yo, your man said, I'm like, yo, bro. Me too. You know what's crazy? Stop. Joe disrespected me on 20 shows before he acknowledged me. Just to put that onto the onto, onto Wow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that nigga. Get Talk to him, Quinn. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 shots was definitely fired. Wait a second. Wait, what'd he say? Sure. He, he was, phoned so, so keep in mind. No, they're turning into <laughs> <laughs> Is this the hell who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> what is that? Final answer. I swear to God. Wait. Me, oh, another Joe, that's yo. That's a fact. No, Joe Burrow. Fact. I will find the episode. Biden. I was <laughs> Byron. No. Rogan. No, I will find the episode <laughs> myself. Maul has said my name, and you was like, 
nah, I don't know her. Anyway, Megan Thee Stallion, da da da. I was like, damn. Sound and like everybody, Joe. everybody was calling me and said, you said it, that's yeah, your that was man you, who you've you been ruling for for ten years. I didn't even hear it, but you, you said it, nigga. No, you said that. No, you said no. You did that. That's who you've been ruling for for ten years. That's exactly how that went. Sending me his playlist. No, no, nah, no, no, and no. I will control the narrative like the therapist tells me to do. Uh uh Wait a second. That sounds crazy. It, but it's not. And that happened. All right, let me, let me ask you. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out real quick. Hold on. Before you do it. Hey, that Parks. Was one, yeah. That was yeah. one. That sound like some Joe shit? It was more than one. Ish. Did it sound like some Joe shit? I know she's not lying, and okay. I ain't hear the episode. Right. And then the, second one, the second one was... Oh, wait, it was more. Moore said it again. I know you heard. Now, at this point, Rory heard it again. He was like, yeah, yeah, she's dope. Whatever. They both was like, she's dope. He's like... She's a baby. Like, look, she looked like a baby in the face. Was she like 20 years old? Something, whatever. I'm but like, why is that a diss? No, but it was just so unnecessary. Like, just Dismissive. say, just say, like, no, I don't. Like, I didn't hear it, or maybe I tune into it, but it was very like, and people kept calling me, like, yo, you've been he sending me this nigga's playlist no, for 20. Shit. I would have said it too. Though. For 20 fucking years. But this is the thing. See, that's the problem. I'm gonna keep it a buck if it was five, six years ago, right? How old are you now? 27. 27. Fix your face. I don't want no sauce. No, no, no. <laughs> no I'm saying. No, no, look. So look, 27. Five, right. Four or five years ago, you was 23. Mm -hmm. For somebody like me, I, the odds are, because you seem like an exceptional 27-year-old. Year old, you're not the norm. Yeah. Right. 23 she, year different. old. I'm like... Oh. This is 2019, though. But wait, four year, three years ago. But wait, so you were 24. I mean, the let pandemic me skipped a year. But let me defend know. myself. Those years don't count. <laughs> but let, but wait, let wait. me defend myself. I hear what you're saying. Boy, does that sound horrible. And then apologize, nigga. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I owe you an apology. Yeah. But listen to this. See, this is why people don't understand pod world, right? Take I me don't. back. Take me back to my old co-host who wanted to do absolutely no research on anything and just tried to step on topics. So if I say in a big topic, hey, Meg the Stallion, such and such. Meg the Stallion, who is a signed act, yes. <laughs> Albums, budgets behind it. Like something. This is an A topic. And these niggas chime in to say, Yeah, but Lady London, it's not a slight to Lady London, but y'all have to shut the fuck up right now. That wasn't what happened. She she got this at her mental role. She know you. My she know you. I she know, she, she took this shit personally. I, I was the topic, and then you brought up Megan Thee Stallion to diverge from what they were already saying. I think we were talking about female rappers. Yeah, it was a it was a Pivot female rapper. Sound thing. like that. Sound like Joe. Right. And it was a very very dismissive thing. And I let it. I was I you know like a little that. bit about like it. That. But then I was like, whatever it is, what it is. Then it happened again. I said okay once again. And then so this had to. I don't know the months. I'll find it. Because I don't like to say anything that's not true. Third but strike? Don't tell we, me it's a third move, strike. No, we move into March for Women's History Month in 2020. And uh -huh. MC Light and Jada Pinkett hit me to do a freestyle during Women's History Month for them to post. Mm. And I just can't curse in it. They're like, just, I don't care what it's about. I can't curse. Mm. I drop, I'm off sabbatical. I, I get off Instagram for a month every year for, I don't know what month. Just, Damn, I, I do that, that shit too. I just I do that shit every year. I do that, that, yeah. I do so, that all socials. I'm like, as soon as I get back, I'm going to post it. I came back on March 8th, posted it and got off. Mm. Then even whatever. That was the freestyle he acknowledged on a podcast. Mm. That came out. He's like, yo, y'all heard of Lady London? <laughs> right? So Maul's like, nigga. Like, really? I've been saying this shit forever. And that was it. Then for four consecutive podcasts after that, it was applause for me. So here come the truck that's going to move the goalpost. <laughs> come on. <laughs> so, here come the truck that was that's going to move the goalpost to give this nigga some bell. Go ahead. I'm listening. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> I get a boy. Come on. No, no, no. But I know what she's saying is accurate because I know how I go about fanfare. So let me explain to you. Somebody that looked good with a dope verse ain't enough for me. Huh. And then somebody with another dope verse ain't enough for me. Mm -hmm. Somebody that just keep giving me dope verses <laughs> and look good and this is what you're doing. I'm not going to invest yet. I started this with my investment is there when it go. I'm waiting for a song. I'm waiting for more. Uh -huh. But then you was just killing too much. <laughs> you was killing too much. So it was like, oh, this is not like a, a fly by night thing. Fly this is not night. somebody wrote the dope verse. This is not. I'm sold on her ability to put a pen to a paper and mm -hmm. give me something I need. Mm. So I go do research. Okay. It's my favorite thing to do. Go back and listen to it all. And here we are. And that's how fan fear works. I don't understand the artists that be like, how do you say it? How do you say it? How do you say it? It's not sensitive because we all sensitive about our craft. 
But the artists that don't allow for fan wavering. Like, I could fuck with you one project, hate the next project, I should be able to say and there'd be no beef. Mm -hmm. Or, good luck. That shit don't work. That shit don't work today. Yeah, but I'm on the side of the music. I'm with you. You know, that's my my take all, that's my stance all the time. If I get the good music, you're going to drop an album or EP, I'm going to buy it. I have it. If Lady London hates me, guess what? So? (laughs) <laughs> I that, have that's, that EP fam, that's I have my that project take, That's my stance. But you're making me feel bad Because I don't like that I just wanted to cause I, I don't like that I ain't the type to really sit man. on Yeah you still ain't I'm sorry And that's the wild shit You still ain't giving an apology It's okay That wasn't apology the best accepted. representation Of me or my fanfare Right And I've grown a lot Since then <laughs> Oh you should Act me up man. I have it's grown cool. so much it's I was cool. so immature No I can appreciate Take it. ownership of it. I yeah, you got to. There you Accountability. go. Accountability. That's a bullshit, yo. <laughs> I hate when you invite niggas here and they remember the fucked up shit. Yeah. <laughs> that you That's saying. All... Why you ain't DM me that? Do hey, yo, you hear this? I don't know. What, color, yo, what, what, what perfume waited. you got on? Yeah, it's something. Um, you what perfume you, you got on? Gentle fluidity, though. Well, we, we need to get a need candle to that shit right here. You made this nigga just say accountability. Accountability? Um, oh man, I'm great. going to buy gentle fluidity. <laughs> I'm going to, the what? things they never forget, I never remember. <laughs> this nigga, yo. I like that you helped me to that shit, though. Good. I, I, I agree. I don't like sitting on stuff, it's, you know. Not just that. You don't want to come up here and be phony. You want to let a nigga know. Yeah, yo, you, yeah. yeah. I remember that. I remember that, that, that shit you did. I told my makeup artist I was going to tell you this today, too. What he Shut said. Up. It's a girl. What she said. She said, you better. <laughs> yo, women will fucking <laughs> empower some bullshit, yo. Sure. I don't like that nigga. Oh, well, are, we at, are we at peace? We're good. Now, do you accept my apology? I do. I ain't shit. like that. It's that it's Jersey shit. City shit. I can't believe it. <laughs> <y'all. laughs> Knock that up <laughs> on me. Selling you. Oh, legacy. Man. Yes. I know it's early, but it's never too early to talk about legacy, what you want it to look like. Mm-hmm. What do you want yours to look like when it's said and done? I want, I, and honestly, it has very little to do with my music, although, of course, I want to be legendary in that space. I really want people to remember the person that I am, like my heart, like really, really remember. Like I've, I treat the light guy the same way as I treat the person who p- writes the checks. Mm. I just want people to like remember me as being a Something. calm soul, like, you know, and, and like a, a good person. <laughs> wow. I'm not hooked up to nothing. Laptop. Hey, your laptop. Oh. That's all good. But yeah, pretty much. Um, I, got, oh, I got three questions. Okay, Shoot. let's do it. I don't want to take you in the deep water, though. Okay. I hear you say Lauren name. Oh, oh shit. Oh, my God. This Listen. Yo, dog. Just don't, this nigga shout, is. Yo, let me, is yo dog, let me talk to the young lady. Yo, shut up, man. Shit Respectfully. I never, that's why. She's from fucking Essex County, nigga. Facts. Facts. She's a rapper, lyricist girl from Essex County. This I want to see how she feel about fucking Lauren. What's I wrong with that? I fucking love Lauren Hill. So my favorite song in the world ever written is Nothing Even Matters. What's I have that notes niggas? tattooed on the back of my wow. my foot. <laughs> like, yes. So that's one. Yes. And I'm it, sure it's a lot of people I missed uh, to preface that. I was going to ask you about yes. Lauren. Yeah. It's hard to remember everybody that it inspired is so Nah, hard. not when you're a female rapper, nigga. No, yes it is. Lauren comes ev- up in the tops. Watch all my interviews. I say different people every time because people be sure. trying to get me off. And I, again, I'm not trying to lure you into the, 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 the of deep not. water. Of course not. Um, two, uh, Nikki. Love her. And then three, you seem like a really well-rounded young lady. You're from where I'm from. Mm-hmm. You have both parents. No. I grew up with my mom and my grandmother. So some of her responses that I'm not trying to be a dick, but some of your responses seem like your household was just super duper 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 solid. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? I so, I, and, but you said you got I'm Jamaican island so, descent. So yeah, that's, no, that, this I was, was happening. I was, I was getting to it. But so some of that shit is representative there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. some of that shit is represented there. And I was going to see if you had a father in your household because a lot of your answers that you have are typically. No shot. Coming, I, single kid, single mom kid, mm-hmm. coming up from yo. When you had some grounding and some foundational mm-hmm. situations there, so that's what I was asking. I yeah, wasn't yeah, trying yeah. to be funny. Nah, no, not I take no offense. I don't think you're trying to be funny at all. No. Just answering questions. But yeah, no, just my my mother, my grandmother. Um, my stepfather raised me from when I was seven up. So he's the only father I've ever known. So it was um, some male. Yeah, it was, definitely, it was yeah, male yeah, no, that's what I mean. That's I mean, what I'm saying. I didn't have my father. No, I got life, you. But, but you had a male representative course, in your household. Yeah, always, always. Till this, day, till this day. So that's yeah. my point. Mm-hmm. 
And you can hear that in people's conversations. Like, y'all think I'll be being funny. Like, you can hear that. It's represented in, in some yeah. people's conversations. She's grounded. She's 27 years old. Mm-hmm. And they and Joe asked her about legacy. She said, yo, fuck music. I want my legacy to be one of this. My heart, my soul, my generosity, my right, whatever the right. case yeah. may be. Those are answers that the typical um, hip-hop 27-year-old wouldn't really be. Thanks. So, right, so me earlier, right? Early in my career... Before there was a focus, before there was a pump it up, I was just doing mixtape shit. <laughs> and one day my A&R and manager at the time scanned his phone wrong. And he said, yo, you want to book Joe Budden for a show? And I happened to be in the office. And he looked at me and he said, yo, they want you for a show. I had no idea what that meant. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what what they expected of me, right? This was a club. Might have been Mars 2112 at the time. Excuse I don't me. remember. And I said, wait, they want me to go in there on a Friday night with no recognizable songs, and they want me to stand on stage for 10 to 15 minutes and do something? Might have went in there and did my Missy Twerk It freestyle or G-Dep free. It was freestyles, right? Mm. But that changed my life. <laughs> because, <clears throat> oh, shit. Now I got to get some songs. <laughs> I need songs. Yeah. I need songs. And Mars 2112. And now, now my perspective on the songs I need is different because I was just coming from the street. So mm. I wanted songs that they would play at Crown's Chicken, that they would play at the hot spot in Jersey City. But now, I need to know what I need to do up here to get y'all in. Shake it. Uh-huh. So now you have a show. Mm-hmm. What's that experience like as the new act mm-hmm. that's sitting on heat? Yeah. Heat on the way, y'all don't have it yet, but a job is still a job, and I'm here, and I have to tear this up. For sure. How long is the set? Yeah. What do you do to get in your bag? Like, what do we leave with? And I'm, I'm going to try to come tomorrow. You need to come tomorrow. Don't try, just come. The whole team, y'all come. Y'all, as a guest of mine, just say your name at the door. Come. I got a show too, but otherwise I would come. I'll you got a show with? You got a show? Upstate. Yeah. Sucks. Uh, some and some I, I got face card at SOB. <laughs> SOB, they <laughs> not did them not let me in SOB. <laughs> you kept the lights on at <laughs> SOB. I wish they would not let me in SOBs, but right. 8 o'clock. I can fuck I'm, with it. Yeah. Yeah, we can fuck with that. I'm coming, so you're not going to give me nothing about it. No, I'll talk to you. What you, what you want to know? Let's talk about it. I want to know what's your energy on the stage. So this is my first show ever, too. So in, it's life? You, in life? In oh, life. Lady uh, London, you got to tell us that. Yeah, my first show in life. Shut up. No, like first Bring you a couple show. dozens of roses. Yeah, I'm fucking with you, yo. Yeah. JVP. Yeah, that's dope. Show up. Oh, that's my dope. God. That's dope. Yes. Now, I got to come yeah. now. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> we have to now, we in it. Yeah, it's my that's first dope. show ever. Um, I'm excited. You know, being home doing it is amazing. Go ahead and say sure. scared. You better not be too tough to say scared. You no, be a I'm little scared. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I don't use the word scared. It's not really my vernacular, but I do use, I would say nervous or anxious, you know, but anxiety comes from eager. living in the future. So I try to live right here in the present. So yeah, I'm, I'm a little, a little nervous about it. I got bad nerves. But at the same time, I remember being like, I don't, similar to you, I don't want to go on stage unless they know my records. I don't want to go on stage. Like yeah. I, I just, I'm scared of a crowd being looking at me like this. Who is this girl jumping up and down? But oh, what's is, going this on? This is your show, though, right? This is my show. I'm headlining. This is my only show. They're gonna, yeah. they're gonna know me, but not only that, these shits don't. have been going viral for years. Yeah, exactly. So not only will they know me, I'm confident in knowing that they can sing back the lyrics word for fact. word. That's a fact. So that is gonna be the most interesting part of it. Yes, it's my first show, and yes, I'm very nervous about it. Mm-hmm. And I've been with my stage instructor for the last <laughs> week, scared to death. Do but... choreo. Oh my God! Wait, <laughs> I got a question for you. <laughs> well, <laughs> there's a stage instructor. Bless you. <laughs> Fucking so <laughs> I got a question about your show. Yeah. Um being that this is like you said, you've been going viral for a while. Yeah. So a lot of fans will be able to rap your freestyles back to you. For sure. You got some surprises for them. Like, yo, I mean, this is something I've been working on. Here's a little teaser, here's something new. Um, Coming up off what Ice is saying, fuck what the fuck if they could recite. Like as an MC. Oh shit. <laughs> this guy. Yo, can you come in, man? Come in, nigga. Come on, man. I hate this nigga, I, I, I can't stand this nigga, man. <laughs> the fuck is up, man? Hey. Oh. Hey. What's going on? Hey, how you doing? It's all right, nigga. <laughs> this nigga smile or something. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga always brings some new tough nigga around. <laughs> Every time. I, I hate surf, yo. And don't fail. Oh, um, damn. What was I about to say? This nigga pisses me off. the question I said, um, fuck the oh, fact. Oh, your ability as an MC. I noticed your first show. I know there's anxiety and eagerness and all that shit that you spoke about. But even if they don't know the words, mm-hmm. your ability to just stand there and command audience from the spitting is important. Mm-hmm. 
don't lose that in the event that they don't know the words the way that you want them to. Because yeah. it sounds like you the type and they be like, yo, cut that off right quick. I said, yo. And she like, definitely embrace, that. But em- embrace that's dope. that, though. <laughs> Let's see the moment. I was about to say, yo, I remember seeing Jay in 97. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. How old was you? Like 40, right? <laughs> this nigga was old. Such a nigga age. opened the tunnel. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> he built the walls in the tunnel? Oh, yeah, he built the tunnel. That nasty ass bathroom. Yo, Yo you no, that bad for what? Girl? My mother said that. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm trying to find out who your parents is. I'm, <laughs> I'm probably going to know them. But Yo, you were um, saying. No, nah, I remember like 97 Jay Z, and I remember like I was living in Baltimore and I went to the show in DC. Mm-hmm. You was in the wire? <laughs> Y'all play too much. You was they Bodie? Play a lot. All they do is play. You was a real Bodie? I'm still waiting. For anyway, the right? <laughs> so, dog, I remember when he put the mic out. And oh, yeah, the fucking Coliseum in D.C. Mm-hmm. knew the words. This nigga was grinning from ear to ear like a little kid just got a Christmas gift. Right. I wonder what that... You know what that feel like. I know. I That's know a different like. level of, of... That's the only thing I miss about performing. Mm-hmm. It's not It's not going out there and doing the big records that they know that... No, the big records be fun, though. The big records, for me, were a security blanket. Yeah, sure, sure. I could, I could mm-hmm. imagine. Because when they invite me to do the show at the at the all white club on a Friday night mm-hmm. or Saturday night, yep. and y'all drink, y'all know pump it up, nigga. Yeah. I'm not doing this with y'all. <laughs> like when they invite you there, but the ability to switch that setup mm-hmm. whenever yeah. the crowd get different was my favorite shit. So the shows where I don't even have to rap OLS four right here, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Just Let the beat oh drop. My God, yo. Mm-hmm. That, that got to be a different did, level of gratification. When they do that, that when they do it, yeah, yeah. That's that what you do it yeah, for. That got to be a Thanks. feeling. Yeah, I can't wait to see that for you. Yeah. I can't wait to experience that. I don't want a whole bunch of women kind of kicking niggas' backs in. No, but no, no, it's going to no. be in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. the one. Oh, we, but see, you know yeah. what? You But you could change the trajectory of things, right? Nah, we don't never, no, 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 we no, no. never it get, But we never get the lyrical baddie to come out and say, these hey, niggas now these niggas cool. Some of these niggas is high. These niggas ain't the worst. They always come out with... And there's some stuff in there where I talk very highly of y'all. Black Love is a, is a very up, um, uplifting song about how That's I love Black, black Love. Ooh. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. What was we on the podcast? Y'all niggas ain't listening to my whole project. What's up, What's up with y'all? Cool. You said I got a song called Black Love? No, I said the black the record Black Love. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. I'm like, what's up? He talking about you got a, I, thought, I thought you said you got a song called Black Love. I, I said, said come record, on, The record man. Black Love. Ooh. Yeah, 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 but look where you shoving the positivity at. <laughs> <laughs> touché, touché, you shoved touché. it. You shoved touché. it in the positive I'm sorry, record. I'm sorry. It's all good. It's one for one over here, right? We we even now. We good. Okay. <laughs> so, I don't want no sauce. Man. What? So what are you? And I feel like you got such a good head on your shoulders that some of these questions I shouldn't even ask. What do you want? To, what do you want from this? I just want to transcend a generation. I want to do something different. I want to change the culture. I just I want to come in and change shit. Like Wayne changed shit. Wayne changed Wayne shit. Wayne changed shit. We no talking about the, the time between times, analog actually. and digital yeah. when yeah. he came in right in that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. weird space. Mm-hmm. That is it. That's the that's the type of culture that I'm going for. I don't know the approach, but like that's like I want to be one of the best of all times, irregardless of uh, or not irregardless. I hate that word. Irrespective. <laughs> I want to say irrespective mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. of um of male or female. I think they've made irregardless a word. That's now, so ignorant. Please it's, bleep it's, it out. I think they've it's made, regardless. You can take it out. I know it is. Not but I think in Webster, it's, it's redundancy. Out. The it's redundancy behind it ear is. and regardless Correct. being what it means is crazy. I'm going to say irrespective of, you know, uh, it's all good. Male or female things. Like, yeah. I don't want to be the best, one of the best females of all the best female so rap of all time. So it's niggas you want some smoke with too. Niggas don't really want problems with me. Like, I sit in the studio with them regularly and they walk out when I have to do a verse. <laughs> on my life you know how many people I've, I've sat in the studio with and they changed their verse hey actually, sir actually nah sir, sir hey peaked sir in, no sir peeked in and ran away <laughs> that's how I know what she's saying hey, is sir. true sir. no she peeked like yo it's niggas sir. I was in the sir. studio sir. with sir I'm not gonna lie I wasn't even trying to be I wasn't even trying to be nothing with that but you did though you did change your verse on that oh, no you no 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 Sir, see. please come sit down, please. You, you can take ice. Please. <laughs> Calling Sue, sir. Sir, dead ass, yo. Come sit here for a minute. For a minute. <laughs> <laughs> come for a minute. No, honestly, come on. You come on. You travel long way. I love you. You can sit ice for a second. I didn't even know y'all knew each other, yo. This is awesome. Not here. Not here, yo. You know I love you, my Sir. 
Surf, yo. First of all, you that nigga, man. You is. I watched the Super Bowl. I watched, I yeah. Can we, can we make this short? <laughs> can we, can make no, it no, no, no. Hold up for it. Listen, y'all. Uh, y'all know Surf is fam. Mm-hmm. I, I watch, right but, but listen, but I watched the Super Bowl with Surf, and we had a long talk. He stayed after, and I was so impressed with how he sounded. Like, he sounded like a different Surf than the nigga that lived with me. You know how, like, we listen to uh, London talk, and, like, we impressed with how she sounds? Mm-hmm. I went through that with Surf. But like as being there for when he was stupid, <laughs> so he wasn't I never was stupid. No, 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 no. Hold Here's up, a little hold ignorant. Up. Ignorant and stupid is different. That nigga is smart. No, he might have been stupid. Listen, me. How often we? He might have been. Stupid. No, go ahead. Go finish, man. Fin- be good that. now, though. You know what? Forget it. Yeah. <laughs> <Any nigga that. laughs> no, he, well, said but, anyway. But, but listen, <laughs> Surf. Also, we've done records together. Mm-hmm. We're like. Where I had it was it hurt me to clean him up. <laughs> I'm glad you said like I'm glad you said you don't Nah, it hurt me. Like conversation. But my point is, surf, you my family, yo. I seen you get down with the niggas of the niggas. I, I, I seen you I seen you look lux in the eyes. I seen hollow. I've seen I've, I've seen if you tell me that Lady Luck, not Lady Luck, Lady London made you change a verse. I just gotta hear it out your mouth. I can't hear from her. I don't know if I made him change his first place. Nah, you know what it was? No, sit up, please. <laughs> nah, you know get this clear, HD. I gave, like, I sent her a verse. Like, I'm just, I hear a female song. I'm like, I hear her voice on this. Mm. But I really didn't think about talent-wise. I just, I heard her voice. <laughs> wow. I heard her voice, but not her verse. Double standard, yo. In place for a reason, once again. Stop, because this is why she be having so many diss tracks for men. <laughs> so I heard, I heard her voice no, and I heard... Did you hear Black Love? Nah, I, I, no, I heard everything else. All the disses, but not Black Love. I heard her voice and not the verse. So I sent her the verse. And I just, you know, I'm, you know, like you structure or something. Back. Right, and no, it was a verse. And she sent it back with a verse on it and just not her voice. And I'm like, ah... I'm gonna change that a little bit. Let me just add a little oh, more. Let me undumb this down. Shit. All right, yo, can I tell I'm the truth? Round can I tell applause, the truth? Yo. Yo, you my guy. Nah, that's crazy to me. Nah, you might be that nigga, she London. Yes. Nah, you might I be that she, nigga. I said she Fam, yes. Yes. She, she watched them too? Y- yes. All right, yeah, you can leave, yo. No, you can. I'm out of here. Oh, man. You could go, yo. And, Wait, and you know he got it. And you know this nigga got it. This is me. I didn't start it. Let me just hear it a little bit. Let me just hear a little bit. Shout out to Sir. Yeah, shout out to the nigga I washed up. <laughs> <laughs> who raps first on this? Sir. He do. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what. This verse hard. Uh, yo, don't do that again. Don't do that. Son, yo. Don't do that. It's good. You ain't listening. I, he's good, so I know it's good. <laughs> oh, turn it off. No, 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 no. You gotta hear this. Go she click. Not yet. <laughs> Sir. Go back. Y'all missing lines. Yeah, so go, go back. Yeah, nah, go back. <laughs> you missing, we missing the sauce. Go back a little bit. <laughs> to you, nigga. <laughs> you don't let her come on no track talking about this. No, we was in the studio together. Wait, what? Nah, she kind of spoke to you on that, bro. Yo. We did this in peak corona. Like, I'm talking about COVID had just hit. This had to be March of 2020. I had, I, I had gloves. I had gloves. back. A I can't hear you. No, no, they need come all of that. Face the fucking L. I can't. He did. I had a hazmat suit. Sit down, nigga. My yeah. Sit down and say oh it on the mic. Sir, but you went <laughs> to like the <laughs> Joe <laughs> Budden school of this shit. Like, <laughs> yo, what the happened, yo? I just gave her a verse. Give him the mic so you he can hear him. I gave her verse and I just heard her voice. I didn't hear the verse. And I wasn't thinking about like, you know, like three some girls. Punch, you know, like some girls punch hard. Like it's like some girls she can punch. So, like, you know what I mean? Like that. Like I'm sure some. You feel me? Yeah, That's I'm all. Getting a fucking song talking about this pussy magical like a sorceress and all this shit. That's cool. That's and, probably why she ducked me. Like, I, I sent subtle. her a message like, yo, I need a rerun. No. Uh, you wait, you're not doing I'm that. I'm not doing features right now. Uh, but as I'm working, no, no, I'm no. Stop doing shit. this. Yo. I'm working on my project. Is what I'm saying. Why I'm would I? Why project. would I do a feature to a nigga I smoked? No, yo. I'm working on my project. I'm not doing you no favors, fam. Sir, did don't don't today because you know we we just set it up. All right. So, anyways, um, yeah, me and Sir was in the studio. Together. Imagine, hey yo, Joe. Imagine how I feel though. Now I watched that and watched her smoke my brother on a record. She smoked ours too. Yes. That's when I knew. I said, okay, who is I this? I thought you was for Jersey. He's staunch. 
Nigga, I said four jersey. Why does she keep smoking? No, you see what he's saying. I they said from he's orange, though. Nah, I might. That's what I said. That's my little pen. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just go smoking all the jersey, nigga. It's just a tricky fight. Well, it's like a tricky fight because it's like she. Oh, it, she <laughs> it is a tricky fight. <laughs> I, I would is, assume. Her pen it's is not. crazy. But you can't like I'm not saying you can't talk about certain stuff, but it's certain stuff not for certain records. Mm. So you have to be extra extra focused when rapping with her. Sure, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like yeah. I'm not, I can't pull a forty out and shoot the spot up. Nah, 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 you gotta get more tricky than that. Yeah, yeah. she's tricky. I don't think they can get tricked by optics, like because she's beautiful. That's what I think happened. That's, 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 that's what happened. happened. So she came with a hazmat oh, suit. I came in there with a full hazmat suit and two masks. I like saw the mic in between each one of our sessions. Like we she went back like, and she, forth. She walked in and just lights off the room. Like she just. <laughs> I was scared. I didn't she, know how I was. Being she lights all the night. Well, she cleaned it. <laughs> yeah, but, but but this is the thing, and we have to let her go. She has somewhere to be. But this is the thing. I get that from you. Like as beautiful as you are, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't I'm, yeah, I wouldn't play with her. No, it's a whole. When she come to the studio, you gotta teach her fucking ass. You know lesson. what's funny? They had the. Remember when I was doing the verse? They had it on loop, and um, I was like, turn the beat off, and the engineer was like. So when you went, what you mean? And I was like, I write with the beat off. He was like, Yo, Joe, do too. Mm-hmm. I said, I said, Oh my god, here we go. <laughs> he was like, Yo, Joe, do too. I was laughing. I said, I can't hear myself. What a guy. She cut the. She said, Cut the beat off. I'm like, She said, Cut the beat off. I'm like. Oh shit, Joe do that. And I just walked off and yeah. shit. Here but, we the, go. but the problem, when Joe say that, <laughs> yeah, it's a problem coming. But she carried it. Oh, that's just girl Joe. <laughs> girl, no, please. Yo, yo, hold up. Oh, man. That might be it. Cause Jeez, I noticed girl, how Joe, yo. You know how when you do a feature, it ain't just I'm I wanna yeah, take I your fucking head off. I don't care who you are. Longer. That's what she doing. I just go with the theme of the record. I be myself with the theme of the record. Yeah. I know. No, I feel you. I know. I get the cut. I get uh-huh. the subject matter, and that's. And the theme got, is I'm smoking you. Yeah. <laughs> it's just. It's just. I never. I'm never. Damn. I never do sexual records. That's just what I do. So, mm. I, Sir's original record. That was I think sexual. He, I think <laughs> like. <laughs> all the way. <laughs> Kill nah. him. Oh, I'm his weird. ass was out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I think his first verse was like he heard a girl on it, but then I did he had to do it. <laughs> This is what I'll say, and I have to I say this stupid. because I just have to. With the way you handle my son, and don't do that shit again. <laughs> what about how many much money I got left in here? Three dollars? Two, two. Damn. You got two. Oh no, I want to keep that. Um, what do you do when a girl disses you? No, I've never seen that. I know that's why I'm asking. I hope to never see that. For real, I, I'm so I be chilling. Oh, I, I love. I loved Manager. all the girls. It don't. It don't. It doesn't. It doesn't happen to me because I'm she not, not no gonna hater. go shooting. So yeah, why I'm not would no you hater. shoot? I want, every, I want everybody, everybody to win. I want to be on a track where everybody want to pioneer the first. Girls hate girls. girls. Yeah, exactly now what happened? No, girls what hate Drake girls because me when I because him. men men make women hate hate girls. Nah, nah, nah. Hold whoa, on, whoa, wait. Let me. Hey, yo, you was winning. Hey, yo, we gonna leave out of here on a really good note. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a go. I'm comfortable. By the way, y'all can all well, get up if go. y'all want. No, because y'all all got up like nah, was you're not gonna do, you're not going to do that. You're not going to do that. Well, you're not going to do that. I think that men pit women against each other. No, we do. Yeah. I hate when you do this. Stop! Don't start your what shit, you man. We do. Thank you. Thanks, God. Don't start your shit, but man. But that's not to negate that women hate each other. Fuck you! Don't don't. I think women hate each other. I also think, as someone that's been accused, so you think the men make them hate each other? No, and you think the no. men make them call b- other women basic bitches and all that goofy shit they do? She not I think, in, I think in hip, I think all that shit we seen them shooting at each other on the gram. I hear all them in the raps. I hear all that in the raps. We're speaking over her. <laughs> I think in rap, yes, I think men pit each pit women against each other. Do you hear the first? The first question you hear in the interview is, um, "Who, who, Nikki or Cardi?" Mm. You be like. I like Nikki. I like Cardi. Why y'all keep what y'all so talking I, about? And guess what you just did? I asked you Lauren Hill and I asked you Nikki, and you answered both questions accordingly. You could have said, "Yo, I don't fuck with X, Y, and Z." You don't got to take the bait. You don't have to take they, the bait. When they give you an either or a question, they expect both. you to take the bait. It's my, but that's what I'm saying. They, Sam, they expect I'm not the doing that. All right, cool. No, I'm no. I'm saying you could say, "Yo, I don't. I like both of them equally." Right. I know. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> no, you disagree. Women respond. To I just it. think that men men are a big reason why women are are have have odds with each other in, in hip hop. So I don't you know. I think vaginas life. the biggest one of the biggest problems men have with each other. I don't. I don't know what men you don't have think with women, each other. You don't think women put men against each other? I don't. I don't. Women not, I don't been get getting niggas killed, killed since the beginning of time. I know what women do. Men have been getting women killed for ages. I don't know what men do. I know what women do. I don't know. So you just said, but you know that men. 
men put women against each other. Yeah, because I'm a woman that's been that's you know that's been in that space. Like, yeah, like, that I'm, that's I'm definitely been in that space. But well, I don't. As a man, you guys have that. It's a power there. It's a I'm power sure. there. It's and power and y'all have taken this conversation somewhere that I wasn't trying to go. What, <laughs> sure. Where what I was saying, it's family arguing, right? What it's I was saying sure. was he's orange over there. She don't even need no other women to talk. It's gonna be just all she needs herself. No, she's a powerful, powerful little thing. What I was saying I love all the girls. was... Let's all do a record. Keep it just like that. Word. Straight up, no dead ass. I'm but serious. will you keep... DM me. But, but what happens you when you start that? smoking them? Then their it's resentment comes... Oh, listen, listen, listen. So now I'm just... I promise See, you, I'm we're just... doing it. We're pitting them against each other. No, no, no. <laughs> when you start smoking <laughs> them... My, retweet my point exactly. Listen, no. When you start smoking them... RT. And they feel some sort of way, then what? Be- beef is when money is missing, y'all. I don't, I don't, that's it. I don't know nothing else. Yo, you on your quotables? No, I'm serious. We about to get up. <laughs> that's what it is. You, yo, yo, you writing this or she writing it? I know no. she a rapper, but you writing this? Listen. Beef is no. when money get this missing. This is how I see how I got her nigga sprung bad. And I ain't talking rapping. When I say this nigga tongue spat, slurp it up. Take a little more for me to open up. I'm so Hello? <laughs> what? London? That, so that was the first, <laughs> that was the first beef London. that ever went viral. 8.7 million views, 2018. Shout out the gang. Crazy how I got her nigga sprung bad. Yeah. It's us, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's us. It's us. Yeah, it's us. It's us. Let me just hear a little bit of this. Crazy how I got her nigga sprung bad. Oh, why you toast on nigga? All right, Joe. Let's all right, wrap all right, up. Right, let me just let Crazy how I got her nigga no, sprung bad. And I ain't talking rapping. When I say this nigga tongue spat, slurp it up. Take a little more for me to open up. I'm sipping coconuts in the summer sun that I'm soaking up. He's dope as fuck. Nigga, she clean. can't play with her. She clean, hey, shouldn't have played with she her. She cleaned my two Jersey legends. Oh, Listen, man. ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank we want to thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm honored amazing. that you came. I appreciate the way that you came. Your people. Uh, I'm definitely coming to the show thank tomorrow. You. That means a lot. So, if, if I got something with me, don't yeah. judge. <laughs> I don't see nothing. Oh, you love all women. I do. Right. Really? <laughs> it's I don't awesome. see nothing. Is there anything that we have, any last words that we have for Lady London Chiefs Party? No, congratulations. You have Good to come back. There. You have to come back <laughs> for at sure. some point. All right, when the project drops, if you don't talk shit in between then. <laughs> I'm not. Okay. Now you clean my nigga up. I'm going to have a pinky promise on it. <laughs> All right? Yeah, no, it's you a clean, serious you clean, situation. You clean my guy up. I, I'm done. Stop saying that. He said it. She initiated the combo. <laughs> Sir, I told you better than this. this no, you <laughs> peeked in, and I'm like, oh shit, he did change that one verse. But niggas change verses like on spot, like nah. No, nah. Not, you know one not, nigga not that never killers. changed the verse. Say, in not the killers. Career, not the killers. Years, the killers don't years, change a verse. You know who never did it? Go ahead and think, nigga. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. What? Not Joe. Not even being fake. Like that's. You've never seen it. That's one of my only times. Ever it was because it, I think you changed it because it didn't fit the context. The subject so, matter. To be honest with you, I think I think that's what it was. No, that's what you did. Yeah, it was, no, the it, was, it, was it was the subject. It was. Yeah. That's what it was. It was. I, it was just Thanks. funny because it came out. Thanks, Linda. You're welcome. It came out, it came out and I heard a whole different phrase once it dropped. Yo, I felt like it was better, though. When that shit dropped, that's like a whole custodian. <laughs> it's like janitors cleaning up. <laughs> Clean up an out seven. Fabuloso. Oh, my God. Yeah, they got Fabuloso, <laughs> Mistoline. <laughs> they got all the clean up shit out. The lights all wiped. Oh, Don't do that shit no more. Man. Listen, London, thank you. Thank, thank your you. team. You guys are awesome. You're done with the pictures, huh? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> them, them niggas and yes, please photo come back. Yeah, I, please can't, I can't wait to hear the project. Round thank of applause. Yeah, there. Yeah. No, this is. <laughs> Yo, why are you in my mix, dog? Oh, cool. The amazing lady London support her shit. Uh, project in your phone right now. New EP on the way. You already know the fucking vibes. You heard?